working on some uh, wiring of uh, solar panels today um, and I got some, several things going on here so I'll show you some of the components I'm working on all right so I got a whole collection of stuff here uh, for inside the solar shed uh, this breaker here is going to serve as my disconnect for the solar panels so that'll go inside that shed and there's a little nice little cover for it here a box to put it in um, I got my grounding wire here which I'm going to use to ground the solar panels that'll run uh, connect them all all the way across and run over and go in the or hook up to the grounding rod and these uh, lugs here are what's going to connect to the panels and then I've also got some uh, uh, PV cable here and some MC4 connectors and uh, these are branch connectors that'll let me combine from two wires down to one and I've also got some here that are go well that's not them these are triples so they go from three down to one but I don't think I'm gonna end up using those with the the way I'm gonna do the series in parallel here uh, but first thing I'm gonna do is get this ground wire hooked up and I've got so these grounding lugs the holes that are on the panels are a little bit small for these uh, lugs to fit in so I'm going to have to drill them out a little bit and you see this little uh, piece under there it's kind of got uh, teeth on it so my understanding is that when you tighten this down those teeth kind of bite into the the frame a little bit and that's what grounds it because otherwise I don't believe um, the uh, the coating that's on these panels will allow uh, a ground they've got some kind of a coating on them that protects them so that's why you got to put these lugs on and as usual I'm not an electrician so do your own research but this is what we're going to do first is deal with the lugs so on these particular panels you see that hole that's where you hook your ground wire to and notice it has the little symbol for the ground so that's what i got to drill out a little bit There we go, that got it. I was trying to be careful too, not to poke up into the actual panel, which would not be good. All right. all right, so I got all the lugs stuck in there and I'm just hand tightening them for now because I'm gonna probably have to spin them a little bit to get them in place for uh, however I feed the wire through. I don't know why, but there's probably a reason why I just don't know, but on these panels, sometimes the uh, the hole for the grounding lug is on opposite ends of the panel, uh, so that's kind of an aggravation. I'm gonna have to like go back and forth with the wire, but oh well, it is what it is. I got got them on there now, so let's go get the wire and uh, start feeding it through and uh, tightening it down. If you can see the lug down there so the, the, the position that these are in i think i'm probably gonna have to run the wire up across the top here because especially this one here it's like right next to that i don't want a big kink in the wire there so uh and then as you can see that one's down below so i have to feed it through over the top of the wood from uh panel to panel I got my ground pulled through. This is the last lug here in the whole string here. So I'm gonna strip off some wire and put that in that. So the way these work is this little piece here. I don't know if that's focusing. This unscrews and there's a channel there that you put the wire in and then you screw that back up tight down onto the onto the wire. All right, we got these all hooked up. I just got that one turned back because it's at the end. There's the next one. And then that one is one that's further down the panel, as is this one. 
and it leads back up to here and then down there and then we're coming out down here at the end and then now i gotta run this over to the grounding rod all right we got running over and attached to the grounding rod there and i've got some extra cord left over from that but i'm just gonna leave it because i may need to adjust where my solar panels are and I might need that extra cord for now. So I'm just gonna leave it there.